hello again, second time tonight. Um, this is my review of Prada Candy. This is an oriental vanilla fragrance that came out in 2011. Uh, and yeah, I, I, what I think about this fragrance is I feel like Prada have tried to finally, not finally, but they've tried to jump on that bandwagon of <clears throat> all of these fragrances now that seem to be very sweet gourmand that are selling like hotcakes because sweet things smell generally nice don't they um, and I must say I had really high hopes for it because I do respect Prada as as a whole for their fragrances uh, Prada Amber for men is in my top five fragrances ever uh, and I do think sometimes they even kind of veer towards the almost niche brand you know with their things like um, Infusion dot iris um, and their you know the ones that are in the kind of tall glass bottles I, lo I, I love all those kind of ones they're kind of a little bit more natural smelling um, so <clears throat> I had really high hopes for this I thought Prada were going to do something really amazing the bottle is very unusual they've not really done anything similar to this before as far as I know so um, yeah I thought cool I'm going to try this out somebody actually asked me to review this a few months ago and I didn't have it at the time. Um, I do have a sample now, so I thought I might as well just review it for that purpose. Um, so yeah, 2011 Oriental Vanilla. I love that c classification of fragrances. Angel by Tommy Ugla is an Oriental Vanilla. They're, they're usually pretty cool. Um, so the notes of this fragrance, it's very minimal and it kind of shows when you smell it as well. It's described as having top notes of mixed musks that could be anything really, uh, to be honest. Musk uh, is a very, it's like a, an umbrella of things, isn't it? Musk, you can have red musk, you can have Indian musk, you can have all different kinds, but this is mixed musks. And musks, if you don't know what they smell like, tend to be very soft. They give a kind of sensuality to a fragrance, um, sometimes a, a real sexiness, but they're, they just, they're usually kind of like a base they're kind of what's left lingering when all of your other notes have burned off of your skin. Um, the heart note is benzoin, uh, and I recently studied benzoin on my course that I'm doing because I'm studying natural perfumery at the moment. Benzoin is kind of another sister note to vanilla. It's a resin, and it's more likened to caramel than vanilla. So it's almost like if you kind of burnt vanilla a little bit it's like a brown coloured vanilla and then the base of it is caramel so reading the notes I'm thinking okay this could be really cool um, but unfortunately I'm, you know, I don't always have to do a positive review because that wouldn't be my opinion I mean I could sit here and lie but I'm not going to I will say that if you like sweet fragrances and that's your thing you might like this but I do I think sweet should also be interesting and with this I just I've, I'm a little bit underwhelmed. I don't find it that interesting. Um, so uh, I wore this for an entire day the other day. I've got a little sample here and I've got this much left for now. I'm gonna spray it on me. I've already sprayed it on that hand about 10 minutes ago. So I'll spray it fresh on this side. Um, what, <sighs> I don't wanna bash it too much. But what I'll say is, is it nice? Yes, of course it's nice. Sweet caramel vanilla-y things with musk. That's gonna smell nice, isn't it? unless you don't like sweet things, but I'm guessing if you're watching this review you probably do because it's in the title, Prada Candy. Um, I just think Prada could have done so much more with this. This could have been something really cool. It could have kicked all of those other sweet gourmands out of the way because it's Prada and they do make good fragrances. But when I smell this, um, it smells very basic. It smells almost ice creamy I love ice cream but it's not an interesting ice cream it's a tinge of caramel yes um, the benzoin I can really smell benzoin in this but benzoin to me isn't a really really strong strong note anyway it's not like if you put jasmine in something it's meant to be like a very subtle additive to a fragrance and this seems like it's the entire heart of it is benzoin which I think is probably where they've messed up um, it's it's t a tiny bit coconutty. It has that creamy, almost coconutty 
um, vanilla smell. I wouldn't say it smells like caramel at all. If it is, it's a very watered down, infused with vanilla caramel. It's not, sorry, my nose is really itchy because I get hay fever. Worst time to do a review, but I can still smell. Um, so it's been here for 10 minutes. I have to be pretty much that close to even to be able to smell it. And that's what's really disappointing. There, yeah, it's a bit stronger, but it's still something that feels like it's going to be very, very close to your skin. I would probably try and figure out ways to enhance it a lot more. I'd probably layer it with something else. I don't like to layer my fragrances. I like to enjoy them for what they are. But this, if you want to try and vanillaise one of your fragrances that you think needs to be a bit sweeter, I would probably, if you own it, use this as a base because it feels pretty much like a base already I don't get a top, a heart and a base I just get a singular kind of ice creamy not really caramelly fragrance that to be frank kind of bores me and it's just disappointing because I thought it was going to be a whole lot more but that's my frank and honest review of Prada Candy I'm going to spray the rest on my neck now. I mean, it's not going to go anywhere anyway. But that's pretty much it. I'm sorry if, you, if you're a fan of it, but if you are, there are much better sweet scents out there than this one, especially for the price. I know it's got Prada on it, so it has got that kind of price tag to go with it usually, but I personally would not pay money for it. And that's my frank honest review. I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching. And if you like my reviews, subscribe. My next review is going to be from holiday. So uh, I will be in the sunshine, hopefully next to a beach. See you soon. Bye-bye.